you know, they had exhausted their, the, the, the last, the la even the last religious option. They had prayed to every deity known to humanity and none of it did any, well, maybe there was one. <laughs> there was a, a editorial in the Star Tribune. Um, uh, the the uh, writer said, well, th you know, they've, we've tried every deity known, but th there's, there's one that we haven't tried. A very obscure deity who seems to have been brought over by some German immigrants uh, 150 years ago, and you know, they built her a temple and they're all dead now and nobody goes there, but and we don't really know anything about this deity, but her name is uh, Mother Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> So, since they had nothing better to do, the uh, people of Minneapolis flocked to Mother Bertha's uh, ramshackle old temple of, over by South Lake Street. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the one with the, 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 the car wash right behind and the huge quad lot across the street from it. Oh, not that old place. That, that, that's fallen down old place, I'll tell you. So, they go in and there's the statue of this well, deity, if you can call her that. It's this old woman, and she's riding on a goat, and she's got this big long tail, and she's got six or seven horns sticking out of her head, and she's got this beard, I mean, a goddess with a beard, and she's, well, I mean, let, let, let's be frank, she's a hag, right? I, I, a crone, crone would be, crone is too nice. She, and Well, it doesn't seem likely, but, We'll, all right, fine. It's, a, it's, 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 it's our last chance. We'll give it a try. Oh, Mother Bertha, terrifying and mighty queen of the outer darkness, they prayed. The vampire mosquitoes are killing us. Can't you get rid of them somehow? Please, 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 please. And then they all went home. <laughs> what they didn't hear was the aged priestess of Mother Bertha who just sat in the corner and cackled toothlessly. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the people of Minneapolis got up the next day, they were horrified to find the, the ground covered with white stuff. <laughs> and when they got out of bed, it was freezing. They broke the 72 <laughs> the 72 degree record, <laughs> 62, 52, 42, 32, 22, 12. <laughs> more and more of the white stuff falls out of the sky. The, the gods have dandruff or something? What is this stuff? You touch it, it, you, it burns you, but it, it's cold. And they didn't, nobody had heating, nobody had internal heating at those days. They, they piled on all the layers of cotton clothing that they had. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. They suffered. It was the first winter ever. It had come to Minneapolis, all because they prayed to Mother Berta. But one by one, the vampire mosquitoes began to fall down out of the sky. <laughs> 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 Down they fell, and was that ever a mess? Let me tell you, you know, these giant bugs, size of geese, you know, it was, I'm, I'm afraid there were some casualties, alas. But down they came until the very last of the vampire mosquitoes was dead. Oh boy. Once again, the citizenry of Minneapolis gathered at Mother Berta's ramshackle, tem ramshackle temple. They sang her praises. They said, God, Berta, that weather, that cold, the snow, what a pain, but you are such a powerful goddess. You got rid of the vampire mosquitoes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mother Berta. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then they all left patting each other on the back and saying, well, Thank goodness that's over and done with. Now we'll have our nice warm weather back again. <laughs> yes, once again, the aged priestess of Mother Berta cackles toothlessly because the nice weather didn't come back. In fact, the bad weather got worse. It was 12. 
It was two. It was 12 below. It was 22 below. It was 32 below. <laughs> more and more snow. The houses were buried in snow. Yule went by, and Emelk went by, and Ostero went by, and it was a week or two till Beltane and the snow had barely begun to melt. <laughs> but finally it did. All the snow melted. Well, the palm trees were all dead, so you know, they, they had to replant, a, a terrible thing, but they patted themselves on the back for their wise choice of deities, and they said, thank goodness we're rid of the vampire mosquitoes forever, and now we're rid of winter forever. <laughs> yes, once again, it was the aged priestess of Mother Berta who cackled toothlessly. And to their horror, the citizens of Minneapolis heard her speaking with the voice of Mother Berta. And she said, Nobody ever said the mosquitoes weren't coming back again. That's not what you asked for. <laughs> well, the people in Minneapolis muttered among one another, but they did their best to hide their chagrin. They said, all right, fine, give us back the damn mosquitoes. At least we're rid of winter forever. <laughs> the loudest cackle of all. Nobody said winter wasn't coming back either. That isn't what you asked for either. <laughs> the people of Minneapolis threw themselves on the ground. They wept, they wailed, they gnashed their teeth, they dressed in sackcloth and ashes. Mother Bear to have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. They prayed. <laughs> And you know what? Mother Berta did have mercy on them. Aww. Because she, for all her mm, unpleasant demeanor, she is a merciful goddess. Once again, speaking through her aged crone, she promised the people of Minneapolis, fine, you'll have your mosquitoes every year, just like you used to, but they, they won't be quite as big as they used to be. Most years, anyhow. <laughs> and likewise, winter will come every year in its time, but it will always go away sooner or later. <laughs> and most years, it won't be as bad as it was this year. And the people of Minneapolis muttered under their breath, oh, God, what a bitch. But there we are. <laughs> and you know what Mother Berta gave to the those foolish people of Minneapolis, <coughs> she gave them a third gift. And that was the gift on the account of which the people of Minneapolis have not long ago picked up and moved to some other climate, as you would expect from any rational people, <laughs> from any intelligent people, from any people who have the audacity to call themselves the wise, because Mother Berta gave to the people of Minneapolis the gift of forgetfulness. <laughs> so that in the summers we kind of forget how bad the winters are. And during the winters we kind of forget how bad the summers are. <laughs> and so there we are, and there's Mother Berta, and that's the end of the story, and that's the beginning of the story, and you know how it goes after that.